Hey Cancer, what's going on? I hope you're really well. This is Madam Butterfly <clears throat> and this is going to be a love reading for July, but it's timeless Cancer, you know, so um, whenever you happen to get it is when you were meant to get it. Thank you so much for being here. You are so welcome here and I really appreciate you being here. Um, if you find the reading resonates with you over the course of the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that Cancer. I've already shuffled the decks that I'm going to use. Sorry, let's turn the, <clears throat> turn the birds down a little bit. I've already shuffled the decks that I'm going to use, Cancer, so I'm going to start by pulling a couple of love oracle oh, messages for you. I'm going to take this one, receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. So there is something beautiful coming in for you, Cancer. Or maybe your person's hoping you're going to be receptive here too, if this is someone you already know. Just looking at that as well, I've never seen this card. These are pretty new. I've never seen this one. Openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. Interesting. So you have receptive and openness. So, um, you know, maybe this is your person hoping that you're going to be receptive or open to an offer they're going to make. Or maybe this is your guides. Um, saying like it's time for you to to be more open and let someone in if you've been resisting it a little bit maybe you've been resisting the possibilities or something but there's you're getting divine guidance here you know they're trying to give you signs and synchronicities to, to sort of guide you in the right direction okay. oh, what's this one synchronicity <laughs> A divine soul counterpart relationship is blessed with amazing moments of synchronicity. So your, your guides are definitely trying to give you signs about a relationship here, Cancer. Um, you know, it, it, oh my god, look at that. Recognition. The divine will help you recognize signs and miracles. <laughs> look at that. That's amazing. So you're definitely getting, we're going to keep, in fact, no, I'll just leave it at the bottom, but um, you're definitely getting signs from your guides about this. This is like either one person you already know um, or like someone that you've yet to meet. But, you know, the, the kind of synchronicity is like, you know, if it's someone you already know, you might be seeing their name everywhere. You know, you might be seeing a lot of people that look like them. You might be getting like numbers on clocks and things like 22, 22, right? Um, and even if it's someone you're like, there's there's no one in your energy at the moment. Well, this person's definitely in your energy, but I mean, you've not met them down here in the 3D yet. Like, um, they'll be giving your your guides are giving you little signs here, just letting you know that something wonderful is coming. You know, so let's pull one more card, please, Spirit. Wow. Oh, I wonder if you're getting your signs in your dreams. Okay, and you have marriage as well. Okay, and recognition again. The divines will help you recognize signs and miracles. So you might be getting, you have dreams here, Cancer. So you might be having a lot of dreams about this person. You might be dreaming about marriage because these, these two came out together. Uh, share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. But I think this is more saying you're getting a lot of guidance in your dreams at the moment. Um, sometimes it's helpful to keep a notepad by the bed and just you know, because you forget, right? Like you wake up and you kind of remember the dream for like 10, 20 seconds or something and it's gone, right? Um, you know, just write down your dreams at the moment and then, you know, once you've had your coffee, you can go and look at them and you'll be like, oh yeah, oh, yeah, I remember that dream, that was messed up. <laughs> um, and you have marriage here, because I, I, you're getting some kind of sign or sick, like messages in your dreams here, Cancer. Um, and you have marriage here as well, so you know, there's something pretty special coming your way here. Uh, you, this is, I think you're dealing with a divine soul counterpart here, because you have it twice. You have divine soul counterpart here in synchronicity, and then you have it again in marriage, because it says a marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. So... Yeah, there's some, I think there's something, something pretty special coming in here for you, Cancer. Oh God, look at that. Yep, that's the marriage card at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands. 
before I've even started shuffling. Sorry, I'm just gonna get a swig of my very healthy kind of Diet Coke. For some of you guys, I mean, not everybody wants to get married, right? But that's commitment, you know? There's, there's four of ones, like commitment, like moving in together, something long term here. This is something special you've got coming in Cancer, or like you already know this person, and it's kind of getting ready to like unite, you know what I mean? It's getting ready to become a thing. So like I said, I've already shuffled this deck, and I'm going to do a Celtic Cross Cancer. The Five of Swords, ooh, Four of Cups, <clears throat> Four of Wands again, High Priestess, the Magician, ooh, lots of magic in this connection, the Devil, the King of Wands, Hanged man, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. We'll have to clarify some of these, Cancer. We have Temperance at the bottom of the deck. So you could have been waiting for this per like for one specific person, or like for love, for a while now. Because you have the Hanged man down here as well. I feel like you've you've kind of been waiting for a while here, Cancer. But it was to give you a new perspective. Um because something might have ended. And when I say something might have ended, of course that could be a relationship, but I've, it could just be a certain, it could be a cycle in your life that has ended. Like you might have become very clear about many things in the last few months. Like you might have been having, because both of these cards are actually kind of about illumination, you know? See how the little heads are lit up? Um, it's about kind of periods of waiting so that you can have some kind of knowledge, like some kind of clear view about something. <clears throat> Excuse me, and you have the Nine of Pentacles underneath that, which is usually a card of self-worth. <clears throat> Excuse me, and underneath that you have the Four of Swords, so there's definitely been some kind of period of separation here, or like a period of singledom, singledom, which I know can sometimes feel perpetual. But it's been you you've been prepared for something here, Cancer. <clears throat> See, I feel like yeah, you're you're still healing at the moment. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with my voice today. <clears throat> <clears throat> so you have the five of swords here in the middle, right? So this is you crossed by the four of cups. So <clears throat> You're walking away from something and I feel like it's a certain... <clears throat> For many of you, I feel like this is a thought process. <clears throat> um, like a way of thinking about yourself. There we go, my throat's just clear, thank God. Um, yeah, because, uh, you know, especially with that Nine of Pentacles, like, I, fe I feel you've kind of been... It's like you finally found your confidence. <clears throat> you know what I mean? You, there's like... Like the old part of your life was kind of died. You know, the part where you, you know, you maybe ended up with people that weren't really worth your time because like you didn't have enough confidence to, you know, to see that, you know, you were worth more than what they could give you basically. Um, for a while, Cancer, you might have been in an energy of like, you know what, I don't want love. Like I'm busy, I'm just gonna focus on myself. I've got lots of stuff to do. It never works out anyway. You know, I'm tired of being taken advantage of by people, I'm tired of liars, I'm tired of, you know, this, that and the other thing. Um, for some of you guys, you may actually have been in a situation very recently where you were still being manipulated by a lover or like a husband or a wife or whatever. Um, but I feel you're moving into this new energy now because you've been, there, there's stability. I feel like you've you've reached a milestone. That's what this reading is about. For some reason, they've kind of almost been keeping you on ice, Cancer. Um, 
because you were supposed to reach this certain kind of milestone where you had this confidence because, and I've said it in cancer readings before, you guys are teachers. You're the teachers of the zodiac. So it's, you know, especially coming into this kind of age of Aquarius time that we're coming into now, um, and you've probably felt the shift in the energy, right, over the last few months and, you know, um, things have been changing, right? We're coming into like a new kind of time period here and you guys are gonna have to be stepping into like, you know, more kind of leadership teacher roles, even even if you're, it doesn't have to be, you know, um, in the spotlight necessarily, but, you know, energetically, you're, that's the role that you take on, right? So it's, it's almost like you've kind of learned the lessons and now you're in this period where you're, you're really flourishing and finding yourself so that you can teach other people, right? Um, but there's definitely been... I feel like you're probably feeling a lot more stable in yourself than you have been for a long time, possibly ever. And you have the High Priestess here, which is exactly what I was kind of talking about. Um, because this is kind of your role. You know, uh, this, this time that you've kind of had to yourself as well here, where they've kept you on ice, you may well have noticed that your psychic gifts have got stronger. You know, your intuition has got a lot stronger. I feel like I said this recently in one of your readings as well. Um, because when you're not using cancer, have a very strong intuition about people, right? So it's like you know, for example, like you met someone in the past that, like you know, your spidey senses were tingling. You're like, oh, this person's not good. <laughs> I should stay away from this person. They're not good. But outwardly, they weren't giving you any of those signs. You know, they were really nice, they treated you well, they were charming, blah, blah, blah. And it was only kind of later on you got to know the real them. And you were like, oh, I was right all along. My intuition was right. But when you have that juxtaposition, you know, when your spidey senses are going, red flags, warning. <laughs> and But you kind of ignore it because like the outward appearance gives you something else. It's confusing, right? But I feel like you're coming into this time now where you're like no no <laughs> like my intuition is right there's something wrong with that person i'm staying away from them that person's not trustworthy you know what i mean um and you're just going with it i feel like this this time has been used to kind of make you strong and listen to your intuition you know and again with this magician in the past you know it's exactly like all the lessons that you've been learning have been giving you the tools to to become this teacher that you're supposed to be, right? To get into this very strong energy that you're in now, which I feel you are in. Um, yeah, but you do want a new beginning here. You know, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. You do want a new beginning. Um, let's clarify the Devil card. And again, please clarify after the devil. Yeah, we're going to take the death card as well. There's a new beginning coming here. <clears throat> there is a new beginning. Things are going to change for you, Cancer. Tell me about that. Yeah. Wow, you are leaving a lot of stuff behind, Cancer. Tell me about the uh, the judgment card, please. Oh, look at that. Beautiful outcome. Okay. Good. <laughs> so, um, in your near future, so maybe, you know, it, it really depends on the person, Cancer. It could be weeks, it could be months. Um, you have you're moving away from the past. You have this devil energy here with the five of cups. So the devil energy is the thing that's holding you back, right? Which is the past. There's been some stuff in the past, you know, um, your lessons basically. There's been some stuff in the past that has kind of made you go, whoa, don't know, don't know if I want a relationship, don't know if I want to mess with people anymore. Maybe I'm better by myself, like can't really be dealing with um, getting, you know, kicked in the balls again. Um, you're going to be leaving this energy behind. 
because there's a whole new beginning there's a brand new beginning coming with that wheel of fortune and the death card there's transformation happening and with the wheel with the fate card and the death card that is an overhaul that is a massive transformation um like it's like a new life basically this is gonna this is the, the crap part of your life <laughs> is over, you know what I mean, in terms of relationships, like that's, that's done now. Seven of Swords, leaving things behind that just don't serve you anymore, right? Because once you've learned the lessons, you don't need this energy anymore. You don't need it anymore, you know? It's, you know what I mean? You just don't need that anymore because it's heavy. It's heavy energy that you're carrying around that you don't need. Um, and it stops you from ascending. Well, I mean, it will never stop you from ascending if you do the shadow work, you know what I mean? But anyway, I won't get into that. But in your outcome position, you have the judgment card and then you have the lovers with the knight of swords. So um, there's actually a relationship approaching you very quickly. And it's this, this um, very deep connection that I was talking about at the beginning here. Um, also, you have this judgment card here, so it's it's like things are things are things are coming to a climax. You know what I mean? In in your outcome position here, you have like there's like a wake up call here. You know, there's like a new beginning. It's like being reborn. the The judgment card is being reborn. It's rebirth. This this whole reading is about rebirth. And it's with a, it's with your soulmate, basically. Um, and this is going to happen very quickly, Cancer. I think it might take you off guard, actually. You might have to put the kibosh on this a little bit if you're not ready. But I feel like you won't be afraid to do that. <laughs> because you've been learning how to stand up for yourself. But that lover's card, that's a twin flame card. It's a soulmate card. This is the other half of you, basically. <laughs> You know, that's why these two little guys are so comfortable together. You know, that's why they're naked. If I can get it to focus. Um, because it's basically the other part of your soul that's coming in here. You know, someone that... Um, it's kind of... This person's kind of like your reward for completing the lessons. You know what I mean? It's kind of all been planned out that like, okay, so Cancer's going to come here. They're going to do this. They're going to suffer this, that, and the other thing. And then we're going to give them this break so they can absorb the lessons and, you know, high priestess, realize how awesome they are. And then this person is going to come in, okay? So you have a beautiful outcome here. Um, you have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, which is, she is a kick-ass card to get. She's very independent. Um, she's very intelligent. You know, she's... She really knows her worth. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who really knows her worth, you know? Very practical, very grounded. Um, very abundant as well. That Queen of Pentacles energy is someone very abundant. Why is the King of Wands there, please? I'm not really sure which one that was, sorry. Why is the King of Wands there, please? So you're kind of seeing yourself at the moment as this King of Wands energy, um, kind of holding back a little bit, right? You know what you want. You have a vision of what you want, but you're not quite ready yet, or you're holding back a little bit because you're in the process of closing down cycles at the moment. Um, but you know, at the moment you like you have the Seven of Wands here and the Six of Cups, so you might be feeling a little defensive still, you know. Um, but it's <laughs> it's like defensive but you can see yourself giving your heart away to the right person you know when that right person comes in and they are coming in cancer because that's the same energy that six of cups and the lover's card both soulmate energy you know it's like maybe a little defensive at the moment but when the right person comes along you know you're going to be down <laughs> um so beautiful reading cancer like uh, thank you for letting me read for you i'm going to leave it there i hope you enjoyed it 
Thank you so much for watching the reading and you know don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that and take care of cancer. Uh, lots of love. Bye.